So my Silverstone weekend went a little bit like this. On Thursday morning, after all the briefings, we headed out to get a first feel for Silverstone. It was difficult at first, but steady away for the first round. We had four really successful sessions with two really successful practice starts, and I was really confident heading into the weekend that I would do half decent. After a confident year yesterday, I was quite happy with how the bike felt and how everything was working. Friday morning marked the start of FP1. I was getting some good pace and I was starting to push really hard. Unfortunately, towards the end of the session, literally on the last lap, I dropped it at the final turn. It was a very relatively small crash and little damage to the bike, which was really good. We managed to get it sorted, ready for qualifying. Qualifying was quite late in the day, so we had plenty of time to get the issues resolved. All it was was a broken handlebar, so it was nothing major. When I went out for qualifying, unusually, the crash knocked me a little bit, so I was a little bit off the pace but I knew that over the next two days, race pace might be a little bit better. On Saturday, there was 24 hours between our previous session on Friday afternoon and our race, so there was no warm up, which meant a little bit of a back step because I had no time to prepare, and I was also still a little bit knocked from my crash. Initially, when I was looking back at the weekend, I was a little bit disappointed as I'd hoped to have finished a little bit higher. However, I only need to remember that it's only round one and we've got plenty of time to develop a little bit more. And at the end of the day, I'm still adjusting to the new bike and suspension as it's a little bit different to what I was used to on my old R3. It was also a great opportunity to be able to watch the Superbike race from the British Racing Drivers Club building. There was amazing views and it was really great to see all the history of all the different racing drivers in there. I cannot thank the team enough and I can't wait to see them again in two weeks time at Donington Park.